Hey guys, welcome to a new video with Ultralytics. We're going to create a whole playlist with a bunch of resources about Ultralytics and also Yolo V8. So we're both going to see how we can do optic detection, optic segmentation, and all those different things. We're both going to use pre-trained models and also use our own custom trained models. We're going to see how we can set up the data set, go over the GitHub repository, the documentation and so on, and then you will basically learn how to use the whole Yolo V8 framework. So in the first video here, we're going to focus on how we can use a pre-trained Yolo V8 models. So first of all, let's jump into the GitHub repository. Let's go over the Yolo V8 model, get an overview over how we can use it for optic detection. Before we're going to jump into the documentation to see how we can set it up, the different kind of arguments and how we can use pre-trained Yolo V8 models for optic detection. To start with, the show like the inference speed and also the accuracy and compare it to the other Yolo models where we can see that this is actually like state of the art of the other Yolo models that, that they compared to. So we can see the Yolo V8 model, it has really good accuracy and it's also like faster compared to some of the other Yolo models. So this is a really nice trade-off between accuracy and speed. So basically we can just run through it. We can see some of the documentation, how to pip install it and so on. So we're going to install it on our local machine, see how we can use this from the terminal and also how we can use it in Python script. So yeah, they show some examples. They also show some models. We are going to do both detection, segmentation. You can also do tracking with Yolo V8. So that is really good if you want to track objects over time. We can also do post estimation, all of those things. We're going to cover that in future videos in this new playlist that we're creating together with Ultralytics. So we'll start with just copy pasting this command here into the command line. I'm going to open up an anaconda prompt just to see like if you guys just want to run inference directly, you can pass in either like uh, a URL, you can pass in an image file, video file, video stream, and all those different things. Also, if you have a live webcam, you can just directly throw it into it as a source and then you can run it directly from your terminal if you just want to extract the results and save them in folders. So yeah, we just go into the inside the anaconda prompt, copy paste the command, YOLO predict. So we have different kind of like tasks that we can perform with the YOLO models, but we just have this YOLO command that we can run. And then we just need to specify the model they also want to run. We can either use like the nano model, the small model, large model, and so on. Let's just go with the small model in this example. And then we just throw in the source. So the URL to the image that we want to do inference on. So let's just run it. Here we can see that we detected a single boss and four persons in the image. We can see the inference speed and so on. And also that the results are saved to this directory. So yeah, we can see that we are detecting a boss and then we also detect four persons. Even though like we can only see the leg of one person here, it still detects it with a pretty high confidence score. We can also see we detect a person here. So again, we have the accurate predictions here when we're just using pre-trained models from the Coco data sets. So those are the classes that we can do predictions on with the pre-trained models from the Coco data set. So we're not jumping into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you how we can just set it up with a couple of lines here in our own Python script. So first of all, from Ultralytics, we need to import YOLO. We can just set up and create an instance of our YOLO V8 model. Again, we just specify what type of model we want to use. It creates an instance of that model and it also downloads the weight so you don't have to do anything and you can act like do inference directly with only two lines of code. Then we can also just do an inference here. So we do just do a, like a forward pass in our model. We can specify a number of parameters that we can go inside the documentation and see. So we can specify the source. It can be like an image, a video file. You can also specify like a camera index if you want to run like real time inference on a webcam, for example. Here we can also specify that we want to show the results while we act like doing the inference. We can set a confidence score and we can also save the results if you want to do it. So the good thing here is that it actually just returns a generator of the results object. So you can go in and extract the results all the time. So let's just run this directly. I have a file here called gymnast.mp4. So this is just a video file that we can do inference on. So here we can see the inference results. We can see that we're detecting the persons in the frame. Sometimes we also detect some kites, but again, we, mi we missed some detections here and there because we're not running optic tracking yet, but we're going to cover that in another video so we can actually like, track optics around in the frame. Okay, so we only need two lines of code to be able to do inference with the YOLO V8 model from Ultralytics. So let's now go inside the documentation and take a look at some of the arguments because those are the most important ones when you're actually like, going to run inference, if it's either like a pre-trained model or also custom model. Again, in other videos, we're going to see how we can do custom optic detection, tracking, post estimation, and all those different kind of things. So first of all, here you can just see like a short introduction to the YOLO V8 model. Let's just jump straight into their modes. So they both have a train mode, validation, predict, export, track, and also benchmark mode. Let's go inside um, the prediction mode. So first of all, here inside the prediction mode, you can just see like how we can actually like, extract the results. So when we actually like, have this 
um, generate a return. You can go in and extract the results directly in your own code. So this will basically just be what you need to add. And then you can extract both the bounding boxes, confidence scores, um, classes, and so on. We also have the inference resources here. So I'll talk about that shortly throughout the video. So we can both pass in an image, URL, screenshot, PIL, OpenCV, NumPy, TorchSV, video, a directory, glob, YouTube, stream. So we can basically just pass in everything into the function. And then also one of the other important things, if not the most important thing, the inference arguments that we can actually like throw into the predictive function. So here we see that we actually like specify the source. We also did the confidence score. You can also specify like an intersection over union. We can also specify if you want to use like half precision, the device that we want to use. So if you have a TPU available, you can use that. Or else if, if it runs on the CPU, you can specify that. If you don't specify anything, it will just like detect it automatically. So you can go in and check the documentation for your specific use case. They have some really good documentations. It is easy to go through. There's not a lot of text and they have a lot of tables and examples how you can actually like use the Yolv8 models and also all the different kind of like arguments. So the last cool feature I want to show you guys is how we can run inference with a pre-trained Yolv8 model on a live webcam. So now we basically just need to specify our source index. So let's just run it now and now we should be able to do live inference with a webcam. There we go. Now we have the webcam up and running and now we should actually be able to get predictions. I'll just take the webcam up and then you can actually see that we get the predictions. We have a person, mouse, keyboard. We get some really nice results. We can see the detections. So we can see all the detections. We can also see the inference speed. So it is actually like around like 10 milliseconds on average here, as we can see. So that is around 100 frames per second. So we can actually use these pre-trained models to do live update detection, run it real time with over 100 frames per second. So this is just awesome. Let's go in and see some of the other results. I'll just point it around. You see, it detects me a person pretty nice. We have the chair in the background. We should also be able to get the potted plant. So yeah, we can see we have the potted plant. We have a donut here in the background, which is the dog bed. So that's kind of funny. But so thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you all learned a ton on how you can actually like use the pre-trained Yolo V8 models. It is straightforward. I'm looking forward and really excited for the upcoming videos in this tutorial and the playlist where we're going to see how we can use all these different kind of like resources, models, custom object detection, object tracking, and all those different kind of things with the Ultralytics framework. I hope you had an awesome time. I hope to see you in one of the future videos. Bye for now.